Um, hi, my name is Havini, and uh, I'm originally from Sri Lanka. Uh, I did my bachelor's studies in electronic and telecommunications engineering. That was at the University of Morocco in Sri Lanka. And after that, I got my PhD from Monash University uh, in nanophotonics. And uh, I'd be soon joining RMIT University in Australia, just after HNF. Um, what are you working on? Um, I work in the area of nanophotonics. Uh, that's the field where we study about how matter and light interact at the nanoscale. And my PhD work was about how different, um, a particular type of hybrid nanoparticles were interacting with light. Uh, that was all theoretical work. And in my last thesis chapter, I um, demonstrated some very abstract prospects of um, how these particles could be used to minimize the damage to healthy cells that surround the cancer cells when the, uh, people are using heat to treat cancer, uh, particularly in hypothermia cancer therapy, but that was a really abstract um, theory-based work. So you use a theoretical approach yes. to understanding, to modeling this kind of use of nanoparticles. Can you tell us a bit about uh, using mathematical models? What are you doing in the theory side? Oh yes, I'm using mathematical models, uh, particularly uh, physics at the nanoscale, a little bit of electrodynamics and quantum physics. And you've been working theoretically, but is there potential for application then? Yes, there's lots of potential for application, uh, but I'm a theorist. I'm just looking at, looking at it on an abstract level, and I'm just suggesting, based on my results, that th this type of applications would be possible, and uh, we'd want more experimentalists to look into those areas further, and we collaborate too. Um, yeah, so scientists have to work together in these fields. And the last question, oh, second last question is, what made you go into this area of research? Um, as I said, I was originally from an engineering background, and after my bachelor's degree, I was working as a software engineer back in Sri Lanka. And I saw a Facebook post about a vacancy at Monash University under my um, PhD supervisor. And uh, that was in nanophotonics. I hadn't worked in that area, but I thought, OK, I'd try. I did, and I liked it. And if you had a favorite uh, research moment or a favorite experience with your work? Um, because I was from a different field and not nanoscale physics, I was really struggling in my first few years of the PhD. I'd say the favorite moment was when I managed to complete something as my first thesis chapter. But I adored the entire journey, especially the support system I had around me. My advisor was incredibly supportive, and the colleagues, they were awesome, uh, both men and women. They were like really supportive. And my family, my husband, my parents, and my brother, they were like really tolerant, I'd say, and supportive. So it was nice. Uh, not a very easy part, but nice. And is it important as a researcher, particularly uh, earlier on in your career, to have a good support system? I think it's really important because you're going to struggle when you do research and it's very important that you have a very good support system um, in your family, around you and uh, also in your workplace. Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you.